What's up, everybody? Uh, this game was unbelievable. Uh, the first quarter, he was up 14 to nothing. I came back, scored two unanswered touchdowns, so we had the game at 14-14, as you guys can see. Also, I'm playing against Clayton, Silent Cyborg 32. This is Draft Champions, and this is just an amazing game. The whole game was awesome. And, guys, it, you'll see what happens. If you stay tuned for the whole video, I suggest that you guys do. It's an awesome little game that you guys might enjoy it's back and forth you know pretty cool so hopefully you guys are going to stick around for the whole entire game tell me what you uh think about it and i'll give you a hint it's the fourth quarter is the best part so if you guys want to fast forward to the fourth quarter i guess you guys can do that but just make sure you watch the ending guys that's all i ask so make sure you like subscribe comment catch you guys in the next video peace out my hands was on that fucking ball that bullshit in the touchdown. Yeah. Well, this game is fake with that kind of shit. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. Slant round, caught by Edelman. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Some think the teams really won't throw a slant route unless you have a receiver that has a lot of stature to him. And sometimes the little guys, they get lost in there. People can't really locate them. And they run that quick cut on the slant, and oftentimes they can turn it into big plays. Here's Breeze to throw. And Cooks has it over the middle. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his side. This is caught inside the 15. <laughs> pickup there of 37. And the Lions are going to have it first and goal. Not the tallest receiver on the field, but he just shouted the myth that the little guy can't go downfield and make a big time catch on a deep pass because sometimes they'll just out scrap you for the football. Seven yards on the play, and that'll bring up a second and goal. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Here's Sims on the run. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. The line of scrimmage is the two here on third and goal. His path became similar to almost running a stretch. What? Trying to find a crease anywhere to put his foot in the ground. And You're retarded, bro. Materialized. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. On oh, the keeper, it's Breeze. They gave it to him in search of his third touchdown, but he's denied. And the Seahawks able to come up with a goal line stand. And out now come the Get Seahawks. up, Drew Breeze. Damn, what are you fucking having asthma? Looked pretty good, so they'll be hoping to do that once more. And it takes me back to when we sat with the offense coordinator in the head. <laughs> game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense and they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. They send Green to the left on his own. You're sending Green to the left, eh? Sit down, buddy. Give him six on the play, and just like that, it's third down. Well, clearly one of his advantages as a passer is his height. Sit back in the pocket, fired over the middle. That makes things tougher defensively, doesn't it? It really does, because your goal is to move the quarterback off his initial spot when he gets his drop back completed. But when you have that type of height, he can stay in there. If he's willing to take the hits and just fire over the top, which safe. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And then you see me getting ready. He'll take it at the 42. Damn it! <laughs> 
Hey, man, that was some fucking good ass running right there. <laughs> and they'll start this drive with very good field position. Because I'm good, though. That's why. They come out five wide, three of them to the right. That's side. fucking picked. And this one's incomplete. Brandon Cooks, the receiver he was going after. And that'll make it second and ten. How many times when we see an incomplete pass, we just look at the receiver and say, ah, should have caught that one. That was a drop, and we just put it on the offense. How about a little credit for the defense? And he takes Get in there. He did the Roman Reigns. <laughs> it's a lion war, bitch. <laughs> it's a lion roar, nigger. So here comes the kickoff now. In this fourth quarter. I said, oh. <laughs> no, okay. And he will be brought down here at about the 17 yards. Did I really wish like your guy didn't trip me up so I could have ran that all the way back for a touchdown? First one out of me and you to do that. But of course, you know, bullshit. You trip me up when you're like six years away from me. Like, that makes sense. I was going to do the Ro Roman Reigns, you know, thing that he does. Because my dude was like, what? I didn't even make a noise, dumbass. No, you don't commando to the ball like that. This game is stupid, dude. I swear this game is broke. Aaron's right, dude. I should have waited till like the game got fixed. What? What you're doing and how fast you have to do your reads and able to come back and find him in open space that's a really nice play as we continue to advance in the nfl as people continue to scout players they really don't care as much about body <laughs> as they care about those hey, shut up run through tackles and gain all that additional run after catch anybody has that ability they want them on their team they give them 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs tie game late and the offense really has to be conscious of the clock here as it's becoming a factor late in this ball game i think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender yeah well there they ran into a first down executed it to perfection that's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down really good defensive effort they were all over that little swing pass out to the right side but for lost yardage terrific read Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Jordan Reed, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Seahawks are going to take the lead. <laughs> and he's able to put it through. Sort of, Jesus. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And he'll yeah. getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. And Detroit getting set to go now. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep them moving in the right direction because, as you did know, they are down on the scoreboard. And quickly, they get to the line. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, Look out of here. be a little bit more precise throwing it. He don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. That changes the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was a fake-ass catch. I'll give you that. Like that. 
A very solid gain of 27. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. And this is caught. It's Edelman. A solid pickup of 13 sets him up first and goal. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Back to throw. And yes, he's into the end zone. So they get the late score they needed. And now the extra point can tie right. this thing up in the final minute. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. This is a game right here, dude. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth. <laughs> what, you kicking the missing field goal? Take this up past the 20 and down at the 22 no. yard line. Kid. Here come the Seahawks now. Set the Probably to me because my offense. people are playing they've like ass cheeks. Do, but they do still have a bit of time here. And they've got to feel my defense is sucking, dude. They're not stopping you with the niggers. Oh. This game makes no sense, dude, sometimes. See if they can do just that. Let's go. Get stopped. Yards. And that is going to set up a third and one. And that's why defense. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout. You better use a timeout, nigger. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They send Green to the left on his own. Foles. He's going to air one out. That's, that's the fucking retarded. A big play that time for the it is. 45 yards. Let's go. Here we go. Maybe the Miss it, Clayton. The game forthcoming. This to almost certainly win the football game. All right, you made it, but can I do something? Can I do something? celebrates as they have taken the lead. Oh, shit, please, dude. Like their guys are going to get out of here with the W. And when that kick left his foot, you could hear a pin drop in here. There were about 70,000 folks with crossed fingers. And when that ball went through, stop the celebration. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. So you're right there, but obviously... <laughs> Dude, you better believe something. Oh, can I do this? One to get yourself in position for the second one. Whether you're able to get into field goal range... Or you have to try another deep pass, another Hail Mary. But you're trying to get the first one to a receiver, get out of bounds, and give yourself a chance to set things up for an easy <gasps> shot. Oh, come on! It might be easier said than done. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend... Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. One receiver left, three to the right. He'll look to throw. Surveying the field. He's going to let it fly. It's yes! Let's go! Wow! Let's fucking get it! Finding the end zone on the game's final play. And the Lions have... Let's fucking go! Oh, oh, shit. Oh, god damn. Let's go, dude. Good game, dude. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my god. I was just hoping to catch that. I don't. I thought I was about to get down, and then I seen your guy fuck up. I said, "Let's get it." There's one of my Edelman hacks right there. Did you see it? Are you watching the replays too? I'm watching all of them. Dude, that's fucking awesome, dude. I had more passing and rushing yards than you do. Sports. And more average yards than EA Sports. Per play. With that, we say so long from Cleveland. You had better completion accuracy than I did, but 
Dude, that was an awesome game.